we're going to put a one terabyte SSD into our ROG Ally. Here's what we need. So we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver number zero zero and number one. We're going to need a plastic pry tool, a guitar pick, a pair of tweezers. We'll also need a 2230 size SSD and you'll need either Wi-Fi or a wired connection. And you're going to need a significant amount of time. This takes two to three hours and you're going to need to interact with the device now and then. Before we take the device apart, we're going to update our BIOS. To do this, we're going to open up the My Asus app and you're going to need to make an account and you can register your device while you're at it. You can sign up with a third party account. I'm gonna use Apple so I can hide my email. Then just set up your name and you should be good to go. Just kidding, for some reason they need to know more about you. And now they know you're old, but at least you're logged in. Then do a quick update and reboot the app. When you reopen the app, you're gonna notice that it looks entirely different. There's also gonna be more options and you can see that there's a BIOS update available. This is gonna change over time, but as of the time of recording, there's two BIOS updates available. You're gonna to need to update first to 3.17 and then to 3.19. As well, make sure that you have all updates from this app installed. And moving forward for these updates, you're gonna to need to plug in your power cord. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and reboot your system. After about a minute or so, it'll boot into the BIOS. Then all you have to do is press yes for the update and then don't touch anything. After a few minutes, your BIOS update is going to be done, then you can just click OK. Once it boots up, we can go ahead and shut down and we're going to take apart our device. The reason we did all this is the newest BIOS was required to do the cloud recovery, which makes the SSD swap very easy. All right, let's move on to taking apart our device. So we need to remove the back cover. We need a Phillips number one size screwdriver. We're going to loosen and remove the five screws that I've labeled with the red circles. And then we're just gonna loosen the one that's in the bottom middle that I've labeled in yellow. This screw isn't removable, so it'll stay with the case. The screws are massive and they're all the same size. Don't worry about mixing them. Make sure you're using the number one Phillips so you don't strip the screws. The last one you unscrew until it just spins in place. Now we can go ahead and remove our back plate so you can use a pry tool or a guitar pick. I do recommend recommend a guitar pick, it's going to work better. I recommend using the tip of the guitar pick to pry up and it should pop out pretty easily. This is actually one of the easiest devices I've taken apart. Now we can go ahead and lift the back plate off and there's no ribbon cable, so don't worry about that. So let's set that aside and now we can get to the SSD. Before we get started, let's do a quick overview. So our first step is going to be unplugging the battery cable. Then we need to take out the screw that's holding in the old SSD, remove the SSD and place in the new one. Then we can screw it back down and plug in the battery again. All right, let's get to it. So our first step was to remove the battery cable. So the battery cable is right in the center. You just want to grab it firmly and pull it straight out. The SSD is located on the left side in the middle under the flap. So we're going to take out the screw with our Phillips number one, and then we can pull out our SSD gently. Now grab your new SSD, make sure it's lined up and slide it straight in. Once you know it's in, you can tighten the screw. Don't go overboard with tightening. Now we can go ahead and plug our battery back in and then put the device back together. One thing to note is that the device will not power on until all three bottom screws are tightened in. To secure the shell, start in a corner and just start pressing it together until you hear a click. This should click together without too much effort. If it feels like there's too much effort, it might not be lined up. Now that we've got it clicked back on, let's go ahead and put in our six screws. It doesn't really matter what order you put the screws in, but I probably would have done it a little bit different. Maybe put the bottom middle one in first. Aside from that, it's pretty straightforward. Now we can go ahead and power on our device and we can get started. After a little bit of a wait, you'll be brought to the BIOS screen after you power on. So we're going to press Y to go to advanced mode. And then we're going to see that our BIOS is 319. For me, cloud recovery didn't work on 317, so I upgraded to 319. So let's go to the advanced tab and click ASUS cloud recovery. Click on view policy and then accept the terms. It'll connect. I recommend plugging in your power cord if you haven't already and then click next. It'll begin a download process. This will take a little time. Once it finishes downloading, you just need to click confirm and it's going to reboot. You'll get a load screen and then it'll open up ASUS Cloud Recovery. This checking screen is where I got stuck on 317. It did this for about two hours, where on 319 it took about 30 seconds to a minute. Next, you'll get a pop-up that asks if you want to back up your files. I have a fresh SSD, so I'm going to say no, and then just click yes to verify. Now it's going to download the Cloud Recovery. This will take a while, so let's come back. Once it's done downloading, it's going to reboot and then it's going to take you through a series of screens. None of this requires any input and you shouldn't touch the device. This will take about 40 minutes. And the final result will be that you'll be at the Windows welcome screen, the one that you use when you set up your device for the first time. Now you can go through the Windows setup steps and you're good to go. Be sure to tune in for my other ROG Ally videos and guides that'll be coming soon. And also watch out for okistgamer.com that'll be going live soon with materials to go along with these guides. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching.